to another episode of City Skyline. So, last episode we got a hotel in. We also leveled up our park to the highest level. Uh, that was pretty good for that day. I ended up messing up the path a little bit, but I was able to fix it a little bit as well. So, I just barely managed to get it squeezed in for this little park here. It's not really on the path. I'm not sure why it counts as on the path. There isn't really any connection point for it, but um, I'm not complaining. There's no mods or anything like that. It just happened to work for some reason. I guess it's just the right distance on this corner pop probably that it counts. I don't know. All I know is it works. Uh, I did my best to add like some pathways and stuff like that with some parks and stuff uh, benches I think uh, so they can people can go there they end up just crossing wherever but it <laughs> doesn't matter too much um, our force industry also got a level up uh, we still yet to check what's unlocked for that uh, we got this one, which gives us more wood production. Now, the only thing is, I don't think we really need wood production. We have tons of wood. Actually, freight trucks in use currently are like 11 at the moment. So, uh, we might be producing a little bit too much wood, to tell you the truth. Uh, though, our planks and everything are doing fine. We could probably boost up production by adding another paper mill and a couple more sawmills, but I'm not sure if that's going to be really needed. We have like six, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forestry buildings. So yeah, that's probably enough for what we have for production. We just need a couple extra buildings, I think. So we'll put another flower or paper plant over here. And maybe we can squeeze in one or two sawmills. That way we can get production a little bit higher for some of these things. And we're going to need water for that as well. Good. And yeah, outside of that, um, we can start working on a few other things. There's uh, the... I think there is... what was it? There's a few other DLCs that we haven't dipped into just yet that we should try to build.
I built a uh, stock exchange uh, building, so we'll be able to get a little bit of profit from our investments. Now, I did take out uh, 200 shares in the forest industry. I'm not sure how much shares we can actually take out, but I did take out 200. So we already got like 3,000 from the investment, and it's going to go up slowly. But um, we can always make a lot more money when we uh, invest more in our forest industry and stuff. Now, to complement that, I'm basically going to create a like a little hub for our um, oh, what policies we have: financial office buildings and tourism specifications. So we're going to be putting that into this uh, area over here, followed by some you know, some residential and stuff, which will be over on this side. I was thinking about putting a park right in here as well. I'm not sure what kind of park. We could probably maybe fit a small nature reserve or something like that in there. Just squeeze it in maybe. Not like something that's going to be huge, but, you know, it's a nice little space that will be able to um, be utilized. And then we got some trams uh, set up on this side, so we carry a bunch of people between here and that point so that was at least the plan for that and it's just a matter of zoning things and getting some services in so I'm going to go ahead and put down a clinic over yeah we'll put the clinic over here I think and I'm not sure yeah that'll cover most of it and child care, we can put that over. We'll probably put some paths in so it's easier for them to get to these main roads as well. Um, but yeah, we'll put that over here, I guess. And elder care, we could probably stick over on this side. And what else do we have? We have a uh, fire our service so we'll put that over on this side here and police put that next to the hospital uh, what else we need schools that's right so put a school in elementary school can go over by the child care place and the high school can go over by the elder care I think uh, we do have university set up now, so we can go ahead and place one of those down. Uh, there's also oh, way bigger university as well.
So a little hard to see at the moment, but uh, we'll kind of zoom in here and see if we can't see some of the things. I put some tents down and a whole bunch of trees and decorations and stuff uh, for these um, this little park here. I called it Glenbrook because I didn't really know what else to call it, but it's Glenbrook. Glenbrook Park and uh, there's the fire station right over here so easy access if there's a fire um, as our service would take a little while to get over to here but there's a lot of water around so I'm not worried about it burning down half the neighborhood as it would be really easy to extinguish for the fire helicopters once they do get here so um, people have started to move in there's a little bit of a garbage problem so we'll have to look into that um, landfill usage uh, we have pretty good um, processing usage so I might plop down a one or two more uh, recycling centers and we'll see if that helps a little bit yeah, that might help a little bit. All right, and I wanted to put down a couple extra factories as well. Since we're pulling in a lot of money, I thought we could maybe do that. Uh, if we go to industry and then we can go to this tab and then we have a uh, furniture factory, which requires lumber and paper. And then there is the printing press, which requires, I think, ore or oil, one of the two which we don't currently have, but we will eventually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the furniture factory, um, yeah, that's what I ran into last time. Okay, uh, we need a road set up for this. Uh, we'll probably branch off this way. So I'll grab that road that we have here and turn on snapping so it's a little bit easier to draw that and then we can plop it right in here I think so back to industry and plop that down will it let us yes it will perfect all right so that will be for that we'll bump up the production to 150 and that should get us um, a pretty good amount of profit we'll need a place to store the goods as well so we'll set that up just right now so we'll need a warehouse so there, and then warehouse, place the warehouse down right here, and we'll go to export, or empty, and then unique factory products.
So our district is doing really good. This is what the park kind of looks like. It's still a little bit dark. I can't really get uh, the right lighting for showing this off, but um, let's just close out of that window. But it's a nice little park uh, from what I did design. So we have the financial slash tourism district on this side right next to the stock exchange. I did make uh, quite a bit of money actually. Uh, we made uh, 117,000 from just trading and stuff. I invested in industry and it just like skyrocketed after I bought it. And uh, I made about 100,000 from that alone. So we'll be able to upgrade that tomorrow. Um, we don't have any investments at the moment, but uh, we'll definitely keep our eye open for the... Uh, industry it looks like it's kind of um, kind of mellowed out a little bit for the exchange but um, it does update every day in the game so every time this bar like goes over the industry stats like we'll watch it right now see it just kind of changed a little bit so having it on fast forward we can actually see the changes quite um, often before it does dives so you want to buy low and then sell high basically um, that's what stock markets basically have to do with um, we can probably figure out in industry now just because those lines are red doesn't mean that it's a good price like this just jumped but we want it generally a lot lower than what we can actually see so you have to kind of keep track of it for a while but outside of that um if you are new to my channel uh don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out